Hey everyone, Kyle from Great Lakes Drone Service. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to explain how you can buy study materials and take your Part 107 FAA drone uh, licensing exam for less than $120. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, reach out to everyone. I've been contacted by a few different people uh, talking about getting their drone license, uh, their FAA Part 107, and uh, asking me the best, the best uh, route to, uh, to get to that. And I have somewhat of a different take on, on the process. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there offering uh, drone, you know, drone, uh, training courses that you pay for to guarantee you pass your test. Um, I'm sure those are all great programs. Um, but myself, I'm kind of a do-it-yourselfer, a researcher. Um, so I went down a different path and I was able to procure study materials that I thought were, were really, really good and take the exam all for less than $120. And how that breaks down is uh, the first thing I did, and I'll link my other video, I did an extensive video on this uh, several months ago. Um, please watch that video because I get in more in depth into actually the whole process the, of taking the test and, and actually at the testing site and uh, I get into a little more detail. But basically all I did was uh, I downloaded an app on my phone and my iPad, I think it was Remote Pilot uh, app for $4.99. The second expense that I used was uh, the Drone Boss Study Guide for Part 107. I found it on Amazon for $14.99, electric download, and I think um, we use the electric for $14.99. That's a great uh, book, by the way. It's short, easy to read. Uh, I used that, I got that book. Uh, I used some free um, reference materials out there that were really beneficial. Uh, and these will all be linked below. King's Aviation School free uh, Part 107 practice tests. You can take them as many as you want. You get a different set of questions every time you take them and they grade them and you can print them off. Use them for study guides. Great resource. And uh, one of the biggest uh, helps that it was, Tony Northrup has a uh, YouTube channel. He's a great uh, professional photographer and, and he operates drones and he does a lot of uh, YouTube videos. He had a video several months ago about, uh, maybe a couple years ago, uh, Part 107 Study Guide. And um, you can actually download that from him. And it was all free of charge. Everything that he puts out was free. And um, so that didn't cost anything. So all that put together, I was in it for $14.99 and $4.99 uh, for the most part. And then when I set up my test, my exam, there was two options there. A uh, company um, that contracts with the government called PSI, if they have a PSI testing site near you, the exam only costs $96 to take. So there's your less than $120, you're all in. If you don't have a PSI testing site, then the test is $160, but you're still, you know, you're still not in uh, for a whole lot. There's still less than 200 bucks. So I chose to... Uh, you know, to go the minimal route. And I started, uh, I booked my exam approximately two months away, uh, gave myself two months of study time. And um, I studied two, three times a week for a couple hours at night and um, went in and took the test, no aviation experience whatsoever. And I scored a 90% on, on, uh, on the exam. So um, it can be done and uh, you know, you can choose to uh, to go the more elaborate uh, training schools that offer you know test preparation and that kind of thing. I'm sure they're they're great organizations and stuff, but uh, you know, it's all about capitalism. There's different choices to to be made, and this is the one that I made, and it worked out. So I'm sure if it worked for me, it can work for you. And uh, I hope everyone uh, uh, wish everybody good luck on on their. Uh, adventures to get your part 107 uh, drone license and I, I think more people are going to have to get them because the FAA is cracking down a lot more and um, you know you're going to have to be uh, licensed they got remote ID coming for 
aircraft for the uh, for the drones and everything like that. So um, it, it probably behooves most people to just uh, if you're going to be in the air a lot with one of these. Um, this is one of our old retired ships here, but uh, if you're going to be up in the air with one of these UAVs, it's probably best to get your part 107. So um, if you have any questions, uh, throw them down in the comments. Uh, please uh, take a look around at all of our, of our other videos on the channel. See if anything else uh, appeals to you. Please give us a like and uh, subscribe and hit the bell. Maybe you'll uh, like some of our future videos. Take care, everyone, and uh, fly safe and uh, fly often. Take care.